The girl who disappeared. <laughs> After time went by, I was searching for her and nobody cannot find her. Hello? The strange video came out of this man. I brought her back to my place. I know she hates cameras, but I'm gonna show you her anyway. You ready? <laughs> Y'all already know this about to get weird. Get your food, dinner, most importantly, go get your snacks. Now, Kayla, she was this girl. She loved to have fun. She was good at gymnast. She was just living life for the most part. She would go out to her friends. And with her friends, she was introduced to her first party. go out to more parties and more parties and then at one party she met this guy named Miguel. Miguel is the guy who throws all the house parties. If you have that one neighborhood friend he's the one that's gonna be like y'all wanna get lit y'all wanna have a good time come to here. If y'all wanna jump off roof into a swimming pool come here. Bring all your friends. Let's all party. And of course Kayla will go to these parties and Miguel and Kayla got closer and they started dating. The mom did not like this at all. She thought he was taking advantage of her. But what can you do when somebody really likes somebody? Not much. Even if you can do something, they might go out their way to sneak out and still go see that person because it happens all the time. To make a long story short, Kayla and her mom moved. They moved to Texas. The mom wanted to start a new life and she agreed to move even though she really hated leaving all her friends. But when they moved to Texas, things wasn't as smooth and as easily as they thought. The mom couldn't find a job. Kayla loved gymnastics. She couldn't find a teacher. And the dad's health was getting worse and worse as time went on. Then that's when they decided to go back to where they came from. Kayla then goes out with her friend named Natasha. She told her mom when be out tonight, she's at the house with her and her brothers. When Natasha goes to work, she tells Natasha that I'm gonna go out with a friend later tonight named Kevin. Kayla goes back home and Kevin picks her up that following night. Kevin then goes to her house, picks her up, and she leaves out the door. Her dad was in the other room when he heard her leaving the door. He heard her say, Dad, I'm going out, and closes the door. And of course, when your family member leaves that door, you never would have thought that this is gonna be the last time you ever see them. Kayla didn't come home the next morning. The dad calls Kevin. What happened? I dropped her off by a friend house. She didn't still come home that following evening. The mom knew that Kayla likes to hop in between her friends' houses during the summer, so she wasn't really worried. But days passed, days passed, and days passed. Nothing. So still, where's Kayla? She would have at least called, right? So then the mom calls one of the friends and said, Yeah, Kevin and Kayla, they passed by my workplace and they said they was going to go smoke and drive around and of course this is where panic starts to happen for the mom because she knows something's up now she knows something not right i'm assuming that the mom didn't think she was going to run away so her running away that's probably not in her head right now what the hell happened to my daughter now here's where it gets <laughs> weird the mom calls kevin kevin's answered the phone and he said he dropped her off by miguel house you know the guy miguel but then miguel says no, I haven't seen her since the last weekend's party. So I don't know where Kayla is at at all. The mom knew that one of the two had to do something of her disappearance. So something was off. The mom calls Kevin, asks her for more information. What was she wearing that night? Any specific details? Kevin said, I couldn't remember. It has been six days now, so she reported her missing to the at first, people started to assume that maybe this is a runaway, but as time went on, the police then thought, okay, something more sinister is going on. When they brought Kevin in for questioning, he admitted that he did smoke pot with her, but he did drop her off by Miguel's house. He didn't see her go in the house, but he dropped her off there. When he dropped her off there, Miguel's house lights were all off as if no one was home, but he still dropped her off there and he left. Hold up, hold up. I don't know about there, but where we from, we not pulling off until you in the house safe. If you don't get in the house safe, I'm not pulling off. That's just how I rock, especially with any females. I do it for the bros. You think I'm not gonna do it for the girls? This is real life I'm talking. So you don't drive away until she get in the house. But if Miguel haven't seen her, what happened during that mess of her just standing outside of the house in the dark? But something about Kevin's story didn't make sense because that house that he dropped her off at was abandoned. Everybody knew that Miguel don't live there no more. So why was she asked to get dropped off at an abandoned house? It just didn't make sense. Police look at Kevin's call records and they see that it died around 5 p.m. and it 
and turn back on until the next day. And this is the night that she goes missing and that whole night, you never turned on your phone. It's not like us. When our phone dies, we want it on immediately. The cops then confronted this story, Kevin's story, to Miguel. But Miguel tells the police that we had made no plans, me and Kayla, to meet up at all. Okay, Miguel, you say that. Let's search your call history. Search the call history. He had made no contacts with her at all. Hmm, okay, let's search your house. Go inside the house, try to look for evidence to see if Kayla was there at all. She wasn't there, all right? What about that abandoned place where Kevin says he dropped her off at? No evidence of her. So it's looking like what Miguel is saying is true. Everything looks true from his side of the story. Now, in a town where somebody become missing or some big drama happened, gossip start to happen, rumors start to happen. The biggest rumor for her when she started to disappear was that she was pregnant. The father of her child murdered her. I don't know why, but yeah, that was the biggest rumor. So there's a pine by this abandoned house where Kevin said he dropped her off at. They bring the cadaver dog who is really special for and trained for anything that they need to find. This dog is really good for this. To search this pine, they found nothing. And to sniff around the house for the dog, the dog found nothing the police ended up lining 10 cars up for this dog to sniff around and to find something then it caught something which car you think it was hurry up comment it down below i'm gonna say it in five four three two one kevin's of course it's kevin's kevin was known for giving rides to everybody kayla obviously didn't have a car she didn't even have a cell phone so she really relied on older people to get her around i just want to know what happened to her and i want her home that's the only thing I want. I don't want anything else. <laughs> Until this creepy video on YouTube of this man. Look at this video. We got kind of tired of the mall and <laughs> I brought her back to my place. <laughs> and I know, I know she hates cameras, Walter, but I'm gonna show you her anyway. Is you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Then goes to his basement, opens the door, and reveals a girl screaming. She's locked up. And you have to realize, when people was looking at this video, they didn't automatically expect Kayla. They forgot about her in a way because it's been years. But when certain people seen her, this video in the town, saying it's, it's Kayla. You thought this was your daughter. I sincerely, honestly thought that was my daughter in that video. So the mom is looking at this video. She's trying to really, you know, because it's her daughter. She knows her daughter. And she's saying that, you know, this is possibly highly my daughter. All right. So now as I'm watching this video, I see this YouTube channel and he gave like a clue in his video when this guy was talking. As you can see, the guy's talking in the video and there's like this purse. They believe that this is Kayla Berg's book bag, purse. Not only that, a lot of people is believing that. Who is this guy and what is he doing with Kayla? And they do investigations and they do investigations on the house, everything. And it just turned out to be a short horror film story. But they were just actors and actresses. And when people seen this and they just thought that maybe she could be facing a similar situation like this. So at this time, the police send out a picture of how she would look. Then 12 years passed, the family is still looking for answers. I don't know about y'all, 12 years is a lot. Would I give up? No, it will always still be hope. But damn, that is a long time. Remember the girls that were trapped in that basement for a very, very long time. Three missing women, gone since they were girls, found alive together a decade later. You need police, fire, or ambulance? I'm the police. Okay, and what's going on? on there i've been kidnapped and i've been missing for 10 years and i'm i'm here i'm free now the mom just want answers police the investigators they say they're not giving up on this they want to find the answers and get to the bottom line of this if we going off of kevin words she was left there alone at an abandoned place and something bad extremely bad happened all right so y'all can skip past this part this only for the few subscribers and like the OGs that remember this stuff. What am I talking about? All right, so if you've been here for a long while or you watched literally all my videos, you know, like way back then, I had a lot of subscribers that was going through so much. So I will always talk about these videos. And I just want to say like, if you're feeling de demotivated right now, like stressed out, maybe depressed, 
you're just not feeling it. You just don't feel like yourself. These feelings and these things just gonna happen sometimes out of nowhere. And when they do happen, just don't let it beat you down. Like you just gotta like go through it even though it hurts. Go through it even though it hurts. And just pick yourself back up and just continue doing what you love or keep continue making that goal that you wanna achieve. Even though people gonna be there to be like, oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're doing great. I hope you, you know, like to try to cheer you up. It's very little that anybody else can do for you. You gotta just do it yourself. Like, because I'm here and I love y'all a lot. I just wanna say like, when I feel demotivated, I just go through it. I don't let it beat me up. So for those who is just going through like a lot at home, this is not a forever feeling that you're gonna have. You're gonna get through it. And trust me, I don't know what made me wanted to say all of this today. It just happened. It's, I think it's a gut feeling. It's a reason. It's somebody that's watching this video that's going through something. And I think they just needed to hear this. Because I stopped talking like this years ago. When was the last time I made a video like this? But yeah, I do hope y'all enjoyed this video. But seriously, if y'all do ever go through something, cry that shit out if you have to. Talk to yourself if you have to. I heard that if you talk to yourself, that's extremely helpful because friends not always gonna be there, family not always gonna be there. All you got is literally you. Tell yourself you look good a thousand times in the mirror if you have to. <laughs> but all right, y'all, enjoy y'all day.